Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? Picking up where we left off. Now, my car is off, and I think I'm just going to run over to this shed and try to loot it. I don't know. It doesn't look good. This looks like it's got nasty stuff all around this little house. Uh, so I might not be able to go inside at all. Yeah, there's radiation just... Let's just forget that even happened. Unless, if there's a way in, God, do I want to risk it for the biscuit? I'm going to see what's inside. All right, there's some food. I don't think we want that. But uh, is there anything else valuable? There's a radio. Uh, here is a backpack up here. Go for it. Okay, cool. All right, so yes, there is stuff in there. It hurt me. But not badly. Like, only, eh. Okay, great. I'm going to just manually pick this stuff up. I'm going to look at where I'm at on the map. Oh, is that the investigator? No, that looks like a tanker. No, boy. I'm going to just look at the trunks. All right, fine. And we'll just go back to our car. Yeah, the trunks are great for flares, obviously. Which we can use for a ton of things. Alright, let me open this up. These stacks go pretty high, though. I think they go to 20, so I do have plenty of space. And I don't necessarily need to be carrying around a crude bumper. It's not really a prized item. Alright, great. And let me see this. On the map. Okay, the storm has passed us. There's two places up here, but I think it's time to turn around and go for this house and then start getting the anchors. So there's a junction back up here. Now, I kind of, like, flew through the air, uh, so I don't know how that's going to go on the way back. I hope to not get hit by one of these fissures, but I don't know. Uh, okay, here I am on the map, and yet we need to take a left. That car looks pretty nice. All right, this is the way. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Yeah, not great. I'm just going to have to drive through this. And we'll wind around 45 miles an hour, so we're doing great. All right, a couple of cars here. And the house is here. Great. Let me just kind of get some fabric. Hopefully. Now oh, it's a dangerous house. Uh, can I get into the house would be a question. Well, I can get into the outside. All right, there's some fabric. Yeah, I need some radiation protection. It looks like the back of the house is, you know, professionally sealed. I don't believe that I can get into this. No. Okay. 
taking slight damage, not worried about it. Alright, and on the map, I just need to wind around. I am going to look at this and we'll just set this one as a waypoint. All right, here we go. Oh boy. All right, there's an abductor. You stay over there, please. I'm gonna just drive right by you. And let me look at the map. Uh, I'm gonna have to drive for quite a while to get to where I wanna go, so I will. Really the, the main thing, oh, what's that? I'm going to actually stop and check that out. This game does have roguelike elements. So this might be some kind of... Um, what does this do? Recharging? Oh, it's a pneumatic deposit box. Oh, 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 no. It's filled with stuff that I can take. I thought maybe it likes... Um, you know, was quantum storage that, like, sent it back to my base. It's basically just like a giant treasure chest. Blue paint. It's awesome. All right. Hit me. All right, so you got to keep your eyes peeled for cool stuff like that. All right, let's just go this way. Oh boy. Alright, there's some wreck cars, but I'm not gonna not gonna worry about it. Alright, there is what I've marked on the map as yeah, there's some plasma towers over there. Let me just get my car in a good spot. And see if I can hop up and... You know, what I like to do... The abductor is back there. Let me just open the door preemptively. There it is. Clear as day. Do I want the plasma? Probably. There we go. All right. I'm running. I got it. I'm going to um, go here, and I'm going to set this one as my next point. Oh, God, the abductor got me. Uh, okay. I'm just going to drive on. Try to go this way. There's a house over here, too. I want that for sure. Now, honestly, I don't know enough about the game yet to know if the abductor got me because it was just on a random, you know, patrol, like nobody understands its behavior, or if the stability device, like, drew it to me. Go ahead and eat. I'm chowing down. It's a delicious little snack that I found here in this cabin. And let me just look around, see if there's anything else in the back. There sure is. 
A bunch of tape. Not quite what I wanted. Oh, oh. Well, also not quite what I wanted, but it's okay. We'll deal with it. We'll accept it. All right, we got to get out of here. Want to take anything for granted? I'm actually full. You see, I can't uh, carry much, but it's okay because I have more space in my backpack. Uh, there's so many times where I get in the car and I'm like, start driving, and the game's like, uh, you're not driving. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I didn't turn it on. Uh, okay, let's go over this way. And then back around leaky pipes. I do have leaky pipes. They're all leaky all the time. All right, plasma tower. All right, here it is, right here. Easy to see. Right by the side of the road. So I think what it means is like, you can't even just go in and grab one and then find, or maybe you can actually tell to find the exit. Or maybe what she was saying is you need enough stability to actually open the gateway. Oh boy, that was, uh, okay, 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 yeah, that happened uh, uh, all of a sudden, uh, okay, oh no, that's not what I want to do, um, okay, interesting turn of events, okay, uh, yeah, so this just appeared, um, underneath my car, I put it in there, I think I put it in there. So let's try to drive away, if possible. My car is having fun bouncing around. All right, yeah, the gateways now have opened. I'm actually going to just um, mark this and go that way. I'm going to lose a bunch of uh, durability up at the front of the car by smashing through the trees, but... That's okay. Oh, I think I left the door open. Yeah. Um, here. Let me get take care of that. I was in such a rush. All right. Oh, dear God. No! Okay. All right. The one thing I wish, I don't know how you would do it, but sometimes the controls for starting the car, putting it in park, opening the door and stuff feel a little bit cumbersome because uh, just in relation to real life how yes those things are intentional but they become such second nature that you just like you just do them so quickly you just hop in the car and you just you know go through that protocol uh, I made it Alright, now where am I at on the map? Oh, I'm actually exactly where I want to be. I'm going to kind of off-road it temporarily so I get to this other point here. And I'm going to turn it off. Put it in park. I'm going to look at the map. What's going on here? Why is this... The gateway is too close. What happened? Alright, well, we're going to have to use a different gateway to get out of here. Which is not really what I wanted, but... Let's see if I can get some more stability.
Sometimes I feel like hoofing it because, you know, it's just too far away, like into the forest for my car, and I don't know if it can make it. So I guess the stability anchors, like, they build those things to keep this place, you know, stable. And by taking them to cannibalize them, I am making the place more dangerous than it should be. I wonder, conversely, if that's the case, by the way, I don't know if that's 100% true. If I take unstability anchors away, if I'm making the place safer. Okay, uh... Let me look at the map. Could I drive right across this? It would be hilarious, right? Let's go for it. Go. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm getting pulled. Okay. All right. I used the handbrake to kind of get away from that guy. And I'm going to just go this way. And try to get to the Ribbon of Light, which is over here. I don't know if I can make this drive, but I'm going to attempt it. I haven't souped up the vehicle for, you know, reasonable off-roading. I don't know if you can do anything with this what looks to be a, a pump and uh, some kind of generator. All right, we come through here. We see uh, plasma, no problem. There's an abductor that is a problem. Uh, we got hit by the electricity from the plasma tower. Drove too close, not the best move. All right, I'm gonna go over this way. Okay. A little bit hard to control. Okay. It's actually down to the left. So let's just see if I can, you know, make it this way. I envision... Okay, there it is. Like driving off of... Oh my god, this is exactly what I envisioned. Driving off of a cliff. It's not quite a cliff. Whoa! This is a wild ride. All right, sweet. Actually, that worked out okay. Get there. Get there. Get there. Yo. Oh, man. Style points. I did a complete donut into the yellow light. We made it. We got 1.7 stable. Looks like you're getting the hang of things. Well, once you get that unfortunate driving under control. Ah. It's not going to happen, but I appreciate your concern. All right. So what I'm going to do then is uh, take the trunk and see if I can fill it up. There we go. Now, I thought I had more than one of these dumpster pearls, but maybe it's in my backpack, or I, I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, it's in my backpack. Okay. I can't even... The transfer trunk is actually full, so this is why I'd need to buy the expanded locker. Or when I say buy, I just mean... Research. All right. Um, oh, right. This thing is not the transfer trunk. The transfer trunk... 
right. I need to uh, just dump the transfer trunk in there. Perhaps. Now, the question would be, if I do this, can I use all of that to craft from the locker? God, I hope so. All right. So what we did was, uh, let me make sure everything is off. The headlights are off. The wipers are off. The car is off. Okay, good. So I'll charge it up. And I'm going to go over here. And I can go into my inventory and I can load in, you know, that paint. Or maybe not. Maybe I put the paint away. That's my mistake. Uh, did it go in? Maybe it counted as a material in the transfer trunk. All right, let me see that. I'm going to go ahead and put all my stuff over there that I can. And then get me with... Uh, well, maybe it automatically put it where it was supposed to go. Or maybe it's still in my trunk, actually. There it is, yeah. It's in my trunk. All right. And actually, these flares we want to take out, too, and use... Then we're going to go here hit this uh and we can uh i thought i could transfer this but maybe this is a maybe it already had this blue paint yeah i'm trying to deposit cosmetics but um either i already had it or you just this isn't where you put this Oh, no, it goes on the paint shelf, derp. Okay, there we go. How about that? Okay. And then let me get the fuel going. Wonderful. All right. So now with the knowledge that we've gained out exploring, what do we need to do? Like, what is the improvement that we want to research? Okay, so I got... I don't know about the fax machine. I could make... I already made an expanded locker. Rapid refill pump. Uh, fuel your vehicle faster. That's a quality of life thing. Uh, we, do, we could do the circuit board. That's fine. This seems to be... Um, I'll go ahead and get this. It seems to be a part that I need for many technologies, so I'll get it. And then I know that I want uh, anchor radar. I mean, I guess it's okay. What's the thermal vacuum? Oh, it actually casts light as well. So you can use this in place of your flashlight. That's very good, but it needs a better workbench, which I don't have. Um... No, I'm going to go over here. And I think based on what we just saw, yeah, having a stronger car is very good, but uh, I have the one, the side storage is what I want. Okay. So let me see about this. Where do I make this thing? Side storage, right here. Inventory reinvented. A little extra trunk space. Never hurt anyone, and there's no reason that space has to actually be in the trunk. All right, guaranteed zone proof for at least 10 minutes. Eh, that doesn't sound good. Boy, that used all my fabric. But I think I can put it right there onto the rack and then you could see yep okay so this way we won't have to worry like you know not like i was worried but 
it's not an issue that we ran out of space. Now this bumper, by the way, I'm going to just take this out and put it in the locker. Like, I don't really need this at the moment. I could actually just scrap this in this machine over here if I wanted to. Okay, that looks good. What else can I research? What else do we want? Uh, we don't have... Let's see here. A light replacement kit sounds much better for my car and for getting around. A headlight would be necessary, though, for that to, you know, really do anything. I'm going to make, um... You know, steel panel. And I don't have enough uh, stable energy anymore. But we learned a bunch more stuff. So now I can actually make steel panels, which seems sweet. The Liberator I want, but I don't have Thermo Sap Crystal. I have to figure out where to get that. Steel panels I can make pretty simply. The issue, of course, is that... Um, I'll make one circuit board just to say I did it. But the issue with the steel panel is that I'd have to like figure out a way to rip off my panel. And the only... I mean, I could just scrape it off, I guess. But it seems aggressive. You know what? I kind of want to do it, though, because I want to see how good it looks if I did that. Like, this panel looks awful, for example. So if I just went to uh, my scrapper... Oh, no, I could take it off. I could just unscrew it. Okay, great. There we go. And then I'm going to just uh, drop it. And then I'm going to pick up this... And I'm going to put it on. And it looks so much better. It's not duct tape. It's, like, legitimate. Now, this thing... What if I hold this, and then I go over here to this guy? Yeah, do that. What's it give me? The parts. Which is fantastic, honestly. So now we have the option to really, really completely upgrade our car. We got some side storage. Uh, let me see what I've got in terms of spare stuff. My scrapper's about to break. We need another one. My impact hammer is about to break. So let's make a scrapper. Let's make an impact hammer. Um, we need repair putty badly. Good. Oh, I don't even have the space for it. Okay. So here. Go ahead and put the... Um, spare scrapper in there put the spare oh I'm not holding any of the stuff okay I'll get it uh here open this up oh no no you can open this one and then put all the stuff away in there good I'm actually going to put all those in there too just for making those and then uh this is my repair putty, but where did my... Didn't I make... Oh, okay, I'm holding it. Here, put it right there. There you go. And then I'm going to make another... S uh, steel panel if I can. I can make two. Actually, I, make, I can make a few. Great. And then what I'm going to do is just go to this crude panel... And I'm going to uh, put this down. And I'm going to just take this off. And I'm going to kind of just... You can just hold Y and do it instantly, which is sweet. And then I'm going to pick this guy up. And then put it on there. And then I'm going to pick this guy up. 
get it over where I need it. We're going to go ahead and just get this off. And I'm going to scrap this. Then what I'm going to do is hit this panel and put it on. Heck yeah. And then let's go ahead and take this panel off. And then you see how I did this? I think, I think, if instead of using my own vacuum, if I just flip this, like all of this will get pulled in. It does everything. Oh, it actually took my panel too. So that was not quite what I wanted, but that's okay. And the transfer trunk is empty. Did it put it in here? Um, where did you put everything? Well, uh, wait a minute now. How can this be empty? Oh, here it is. I don't know why I didn't put it in there. It just sitting inside there but anyway bam my car has steel all the way around and then uh i just can maybe hold this and uh go like this and just put all these things in the transfer trunk and then maybe do that put that down and unreal so let me hit this guy uh, tires in good condition. Oh, which tire is bad? This tire always goes bad. It needs a mechanics kit, I think, to rebalance. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and... I haven't done this. Picked up rally steering wheel. Oh, it just gave me a random steering wheel. That's kind of it. Repair putty is insane. Canned food? Thank you. All right. Sweet. Well, everyone, we are absolutely rocking and rolling. I mean, look at this incredible panel work we've got. We have side storage. I have a vacuum. We made it back. And I'm loving the game. Everyone, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Take care.